During the service, the Prince and Princess of Wales were observed exchanging flirtatious-looking grins. At one point Kate leant over to point to the location where William should have been on his song sheet, and he replied with a rather sweet suppressed smile, followed by a small bounce on his heels to indicate a moment of happiness, the statement reads. During one of the musical numbers, Kate was also seen talking to William, and his grin in response appeared to be just as sarcastic. During the annual Commonwealth Day celebrations, a body language expert believes that the Prince and Princess of Wales were caught exchanging flirtatious looks, with Kate making a telling gesture of happiness. On Monday afternoon, the couple attended the annual church service at Westminster Abbey with the rest of the royal family. This was the first service since King Charles took the throne and the Queen died. When the senior members of the family arrived at the event, they had a lot of sweet conversations before the official procession to their seats. However, Judy James, a specialist in body language, believes that during the hour-long service, Kate and William gave the most away with a series of playful gestures. During the service, the Prince and Princess of Wales were seen smiling affectionately, almost flirtatiously. When Kate leant over to point out where William should have been on his song sheet, he responded with a sweetly suppressed smile and a small bounce on his heels to show that he was happy. During one of the musical numbers, Kate was also seen talking to William, and his grin in response appeared to be just as sarcastic. After engaging in telling and very sweet PDA with her father-in-law, King Charles, Judy believes that it was actually Sophie, Duchess of Edinburgh, who set the tone. She elaborates. What transpired outside the abbey may have contributed to Charles's impatience. The king was unfazed by the jeers of anti-monarchy banner-waving crowd members, but Camilla did appear startled. Camilla walked right by Charles as he stopped to watch a haka performance, despite the fact that he appeared to turn to watch it with her. Clearly, Camilla was also concerned that the wind would damage her hair and take her hat, which is not a typical concern for royal women. Kate simply held her hat in place with one hand as she was buffeted by the same forceful wind, and Anne passed through without so much as a glimmer of concern. By the time she entered the venue, Camilla was still having trouble, miming this to Sophie and patting and fiddling with her hair throughout. At this point, what might have been a relatively easy introduction to life as the new queen, Camilla seemed extremely nervous. She barely sang the songs, and her hands were shaking as she held her order of service. She seemed to ignore Charles, who stepped across to grab her by the arm and point her to her spot for their walk up the aisle as she talked to William and Kate on the way. She spoke to Charles as she was leaving, but he seemed to ignore her and turned his head away to pay attention to the audience instead.